ni kiko ta possible si nos pone nos talento na nos donan nos recursos na tanto humano y financiero junto pa brinda ayudo y pa sirvi nos comunidad laga nos no stop aquí na fireworks atrobe mas laga e vision pa colaboración crece asha masha danki I want to give thanks to all the important friends and family who had supported us through this program with clothes, food and whatever. Um, we are very thankful for everything because we have seen this program work with true structure, discipline, hope um, and of course love and not only human love but the love of God. And through that we learn a lot of things. So my past was not that um, bright. I had problems with drugs, alcohol. I went to prison. I feel I went to few other programs, but it didn't work because this is something you have to work from the inside, deep in your heart. So. I learned a lot in these few past months. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys how we sleep, eat, and all the schedule. So come with me. I will show you guys around. This is our, this is our dorm room, dormitory. Um, we all sleep here in different beds. We can choose our beds. Um, the schedule start at 6:30. Then we're gonna do our personal hygiene. We have the bathroom. And the shower, we always we have somebody in charge to keep keep the bathroom clean because we are living new life, so we have to put ourselves in discipline to maintain this bathroom clean. About seven o'clock is the time to eat breakfast. We eat breakfast and then we go do the bowls. This is the kitchen, and now we become breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So. After we have uh, general hygiene, we come here and gather together around to pray and thank Lord for the food, and then we take our food and go outside. We go to the farm. We work four hours there. Then afterwards, um, we come back 12 o'clock. In 12 o'clock to 30 we take a shower after we take a shower we all come together and we eat lunch some of them have chores they clean the kitchen other one cook but F eventually after um, when we finish we go to class at one o'clock we have a personal study and a group study uh, to inspire and help us through the day every situation then afterward class yeah. We have uh, so we have a person who assigned to cook. He's gonna cook, and we all do our free time for about one hour. And afterwards, at six o'clock, we all come together and we eat and dinner. We meditate to do our lessons or play some dominoes or something. Then we wait for eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, we have devotion. It's a different kind of devotion. We have people from outside coming and we have leaders who's teaching us different about the Bible and Bible studies. Then after that moment, um, we, they go to quiet, we have go all to the door room and we have quiet time for one hour till 8.30 till 9.30 and after 9.30 it slides out and that is what we do for this in this program in the whole day. Thank you for extending a helping hand to us. Hello, my name's Sean Blankenship and I'm a missionary from Global Teen Challenge here in Aruba, here at Casa Esperanza Novo. Teen Challenge is uh, a program in 120 countries, more than 1,300 centers uh, around the world and Casa Esperanza Novo here in Aruba is just one of those. We look to have a great impact on individual men to take hope into their lives that they might be transformed so that true, tra tr true change can happen in their life. We want these men to leave here and have an impact not only on their families, not only on their community, but on society as a whole. Because it's when transformation happens that hope really takes root 
and that transformation uh, can take place in a society. And uh, we're excited about what's taking place here uh, at this program. And uh, although uh, in the first year of any new organization, there's ups and downs. And uh, through your help and others, uh, we've been able to overcome those and have a wonderful program here to impact Aruba for years to come. Thank you so much for su your support. And God bless you.